Okay guys, so this is uh, part 3 of the JJRHD uh, JJ Pro P200 configuration. Uh, we did the uh, first part where we looked at the quad and uh, all of its features. The second part we did the beta flight configuration and this is the third part where I'm going to do the uh, multi-shot flashing on these uh, ESCs. For, these are the Emax Lightning ESCs. And I know that a lot of people out there have been having some issues with flashing anything to these ESCs because they uh, identify themselves incorrectly to BL Heli Suite. So um, it's actually a, a fault from Emacs. They, um, when they flash the bootloader on these Emacs ESCs, they incorrectly put in the wrong code for what those ESCs should be. So they come up as the Emacs Nano ESC. So if you flash that firmware to these ESCs, you'll actually smoke a motor or the ESCs or something really bad will happen. So uh, in order to get around that, there's a couple things that I'll do here that I'll show you so that we can, you can successfully flash the correct firmware to these ESCs. So first thing you're going to do is find your COM port, hit connect, and we'll check. And we have to uh, change our um, programmer to the SI Labs BL Heli bootloader. So we're using the pass-through feature, so I'll try that again. Okay. So they are on Emacs Lightning 20 amp uh, version 14.6. Okay, so normally when you hit flash BL Heli, uh, it it will just know which firmware that it'll it'll flash. It'll, it'll be able to identify it. But in this case, because of the inappropriate or the uh, the uh, mishandled uh, bootloader and the ESC incorrectly identifying itself. It just gives you a list of all these ESCs. It just doesn't know what it is. It says, hey, you pick. And you can see the Emacs Lightning doesn't show up in this list here. And so what you got to do is you got to cancel out of that. You can't, you can't do it that way because you'll put the wrong firmware on there. you got to go to Options. You have to select Expert Mode. And then when you uh, hit Flash BL Heli, you have to select this box over here that says Ignore Inappropriate MCU. And then which at that point it will then allow you to select the correct firmware, Emacs Lightning 20 amp, and then you can update to 14.8. Now, if you just want to do a regular BL Heli, then this is how you would do it, and then just go through and flash like you would normally do for like any other BL Heli ESC, this is the way to do it. Uh, since I'm going to go with a multi-shot, I'm going to hit this little button here that says ignore the list, pick a file, and I am going to find my multi-shot hex files here. So you got to uh, download them. I'll put a link in the description where to download them and unzip them and I'm going to go with multi-shot Imperial March and I'm going to find Emacs Lightning 20 amp multi-shot and then hit that and then you're going to get this error message that says found different MCU class. Uh, this uh, ESC is a uh, F396 ESC and this is complaining that the current target is uh, an F330, which is uh, the other one, which is it's being misidentified. That's why you get this error message. Uh, and it says basically just you can hit the, hit the ignore button based on everything I said before, just hit ignore. You get another warning, hit yes, and then I'll go ahead and flash it. Okay, then at this point where it's done flashing and asks you, do you want to write the current settings? Say no. And it'll just put in the default settings. And then you're going to want to repeat this for the next three ESCs. So I'm going to just go ahead and do this real quickly. Okay, so now that you, we're done flashing all four ESCs, you can see here that we are on uh, the correct firmware, Emacs Lightning 20 amp, uh, revision 14.85 of multi-shot. And at this point, we can just do our regular uh, ESC calibration and configuration. So actually, this is what I'm going to do next, is uh, the first thing I'm going to do is do the uh, ESC calibration. Can hit the I understand the risk button, hit calibrate ESCs, make sure it's 1000 and 2000 and all four are selected, hit OK. 
And we're going to power off everything. And click OK to continue. And plug it back in. And click OK. So then we can go back here, hit connect, and check. And then we can just look here in ESC overview, and we can see that our ESCs are now calibrated. You can see that the, the range here of the PWM values for the calibration. And I'm going to go back over here and just look at our other settings here, make sure, our, probably have to check our motor direction as well. I, didn't, uh, I think that that's going to be changed here. So I'm going to leave everything as medium, damp, light, um, pretty much leave everything the same. Uh, and I just, I'm just going to check the motor direction. So uh, that's probably something you guys have already done before. Pretty simple to do. You just run up each motor one by one and uh, make sure that the, it's spinning the correct way. If it isn't, then you have to uh, select the individual EC, like for you right click on one and then change the motor direction here to reverse if it happens to be incorrect. And then just hit save, or, or actually, sorry, right setup, and then you're then you're, you're good to go. So that's the only thing I'm gonna do left. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions about how to do the flashing of the multi shot or BL heli to the Emacs Lightning ESCs. They're pretty easy to do. And uh, if you get this particular quad, the JJRC, highly recommend that you do so because you're gonna uh, get the maximum performance out of these motors. Anyway, guys, hope this helps you guys out, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.